What's up guys, it's Robert from Just Drinking. Me and Royer are here at the Modern Matriarch Distillery and we're gonna take a nice tour of their awesome distillery. Royer, we haven't even started yet. What are you doing? It's like three drinks deep. I, I was just setting up the bottle. I just set up the bottle. That's it. That's all. Cut. Hey guys, welcome for the first time. It's Robert and Royer with Just Drinking here at Modern Matriarch's Distillery where we're going to jump inside and take a tour. And Royer is excited for his... Yeah, baby, I am. <laughs> I first... am so excited. He's already I can't... yelling. Seriously. I can't already wait. yelling. I, let, let's knock on the door. Let's get in this place. I want... Yeah. That's generally yeah. what you do when I'm you just, enter somebody I'm, I'm else's like... building. You knock on the door. That's how it works. That's... I'm just excited. Who brought this guy? <laughs> I hope you got the right place. <laughs> Hello! Hey, how's it going? Man, good to see you. Good to see you guys. Come on in. We're coming in. We're coming to hang out. Doreen! Yes! The mastermind behind Matriarch Rum. Why don't you take us through what is Matriarch Rum? How did how did rum come to be ah. for you? It was a, it was actually his idea. It was that? Okay. Well, well, rum wasn't my idea. You came up with rum? No. no that was you. No, no, no. The distillery was his idea. I read about this on Google yeah. somewhere. This is incredible. I can't believe we're meeting for the I first know. time. I thought, you, I thought this happened in Barbados. I'm from Barbados? I know. No, I know. <laughs> what, what it amounted to is I call on different, uh, uh, different distilleries throughout the area. You bet. And uh, I said, one day I walked in and I said, we should probably make our own whiskey. We, we love whiskey. We love bourbon. Yep. You know, multiple different flavors. Yeah, we love booze. We love booze. We love booze. We love booze. I just knew it. So I brought it to her. It's like, hey, did you get something on the internet? She said, what? Whoa. She goes, yeah, we're going to start making our own booze then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because for me, I've always wanted to leave a legacy for my kids. Yes. And my previous businesses wouldn't allow that because when I'm gone, the business will be gone. Yep. And so when he said distillery, I said, yes, yes, that can be a legacy. And I said, okay, naming a business is one of the hardest things to do, getting a URL and everything else. And I was having discussions with my kids, and he said, well, name it Matriarch, because that's what you are. And I was like, well, OK, that's a really cool name. I'm sure it's already taken, but let's see. It's not. Wow, Matriarch LLC is not ours. And that is very <laughs> That's awesome. Of course, he's saying, slow down, girlfriend. Slow down. There's no hurry to get this done. I'm like, oh, no. You know, we got to make some rum. Yeah. <laughs> we have thirsty individuals out here yep. who need some good rum. Yes. Right. That's yes. awesome. And so this was born in 2019. We got incorporated in 2018. Yep. We got our license for the TTV from TTV in 2019 and started producing in 2020. That's wow. Awesome. We actually went to the state of Iowa with our first delivery in October of last year. Yes, that was the silver run, which you guys enjoy yep. so much. Yes. Yep. And then we got hard to work with the amber and the salted caramel. And recently was um, we approached Nebraska. Nebraska has asked us to rebrand our bottles to a round bottle versus our beautiful trophy bottle. Yes, Nebraska. With, with, what are you going to do about Nebraska? We really enjoy the trophy bottle, so we hope that you aren't going so to So the cool change. people in yeah. Iowa. Yes, yes. the cool Steel Iowa kid. people. Yes. Awesome. That's what we like Thank to hear. We Take that, Nebraska. That. Yeah. Another thing we're better in than In your that. face. Gosh. So we got silver, which is the foundation for every one of our products, and will always be. So we got the silver, uh, basic, Sugar, molasses, yeast, nutrients, water, and now we're on an aquifer where we're at here. Oh, nice. So we're actually getting special law. I mean, it comes yeah. out of our well in order to produce, and maybe that's where the special flavor comes from. Like it's the aquifer, aquifer water. Um, we then take the silver rum, and because I was making way more than I was supposed to, my son's like, Mom, slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> We've got nowhere to put this stuff. And we, have, we got some used bourbon barrels, and so we put the amber in used bourbon barrels, and that's where the color comes from. Nice. That's cool. So that it's, is nice. It's, so it's not an artificial color no. or anything like that? No, nope. nope. it is pure. It nice. makes it very smooth. Got a little bit of oak flavor yeah. to it. Nice. Um, we aged that for about six months. And really, the aging isn't necessarily because amber is not considered an aged rum. Right. So they don't really care how long we keep it in there. It's our preference to have it there just long enough. That makes it really smooth. And we've been told the barrel oxidizes, oxidizes the rum. And that makes it breathe. And so then it sits there and it just makes it wonderful. Well, then we decided, hey, love salted caramel. So let's make a salted caramel flavored rum. That just sounds delicious. Just sounds I mean, awesome. Doesn't that just sound delicious? And I mean, like, yes, so why not? And I never heard of that. I'm like, exactly, you've never heard of it until it gets started. <laughs> and then we're going to have that. And later we'll take you in the back and we have something our private stock is currently aging. Ooh, oh, that's what we like to nice. hear. The private that's, collection. We love that. Mm -hmm. It will be a very limited edition and it's made with Colombian sugar. Wow. And that's being Ooh. aged in brand new American oak barrels. That's wow. awesome. That, that sounds incredible. Yes, it really does. We're treating it exactly like you would 
a bourbon or a whiskey. Brand new American oak barrel, charred American oak barrel, two yeah. three. Obviously, we did review the silver rum, and they can find that on our YouTube channel. If you guys type in Modern Matriarch uh, Rum Review, you will find the silver rum on there. We have done that one. There you have. We have. Now we have the the amber rum, which is out oh, now. The so amber, amber rum. rum. Yep. yep. Amber. This is this so this is the one in the bourbon barrels. Yes. Correct? This, this has been aged in the and they used whiskey and or bourbon barrels. So it's uh, a minimum of six months. Yeah, we put it there. So. How about the guy that's doing all the work? Oh yeah, maybe so. Make sure you don't drop that camera. <laughs> yeah, don't drop the camera. Now we're giving the camera guy wrong. You want some silver too, cameraman? I'm good. Right. See, so he got the deal with the taste of the camera before you guys did. Hey, yeah. Critic. How did the camera guy? I don't know. Jesse got to try the rum before we did. did. It's like, what's going on here? He's a hardworking American. He's Why are we even here? here? <laughs> Pretty good. I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did it, do you like it? Is it yeah. Good? That's nice. Try the camera and get the review. <laughs> Welcome to Jesse the Cameraman's Rum <laughs> Reviews yeah. today. Here you go. Bring it home, son. <laughs> So the first thing I notice here uh, is it's a little bit lighter, so it's got a nice smooth light look to it, yep. and it smells. It has that same matriarch oh, yeah. smooth rum nice. kind of smell nice come off the top. Smooth. Right, reminds nice. me a lot of the silver. Yeah, that's the whole idea. We don't want it to take oh. away from the rum flavor itself. Yeah, right. it's, it's so been, nice and smooth. So it is just so it's it's just so nice and smooth. Ooh, yeah, yeah. it has. Uh, it's on the back note. It hits yeah. on the back of the yeah. tongue. It, co it goes in like the regular silver, but then on the back of my tongue, I get that spice, that, that little, woody little, note. A little bit of the spice. Like that woody note woody spice. Note. Yeah, yeah, woody note spice kind of in the yeah. back. And you can taste that bourbon barrel right on the end. Yeah. I yeah. like that. And yeah. that, it, it, it lasts, is. too. It's kind of sitting on your tongue. It's a good experience. I like this. And this is the best part. This is the very first time you actually tried it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. This is. Yeah. We actually haven't really? had a chance to review we it. We right. have four hours <laughs> just to try this. And the camera guy. And the camera guy got it first. You want, hey, camera guy, you want to try the salted caramel? <laughs> <laughs> have we ever Jordan, seen a salted caramel? Have we ever seen anything like a salted caramel rum before? No. Nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah, where did they get this idea? idea? It just came to you? Yeah. It's like, That's you awesome. want to eat something wonderful, and my son was like, ooh, put that in a cream soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this, this is my favorite. What, what is oh, that? Jesse's favorite. This is Jesse the cameraman's favorite. <laughs> nice. So, so it, gets, it gets a nice high rating from the camera guy. So it, does it have a good note of caramel? Oh yeah. You're taking the show away from here. We're retiring. <laughs> this is it. I don't know why we're here anymore. Better this this is all. This is all you, man. This but is your moment. The caramel flavor is not overwhelming. You can still taste the no. rum itself. Yeah. We didn't want to kill it. Like, so it's not like a caramel syrup type no, 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 no. flavor or anything. And that's More natural, like, nice yep, and easy to yep, drink. Yep. I think we should try it. I, I think, think we should. I'm feeling a bit left yeah, out at the moment. We, we might be able to, you know. I mean, he doesn't need any, but I'll take some. <laughs> you need a chair again? No, you need a chair. No, 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 chair. <laughs> so the first, thing, the first thing I gather, too, is the scent changes. This is the first one that the scent kind of changes. It still has a vanilla uh, scent, but it's definitely got that salted caramel top to it. Yeah, you can smell a little bit more of that flavor, so that's interesting. That is so unique. You that have is, to go find it. That is awesome. It is. It reminds me if I if I had like a a Werther's original with the silver rum. Like if I had a, if I had one of those Werther's originals in my mouth but, as I'm drinking the silver rum. But it's not overpowering. No, it's nice you know, and subtle. It's just just nice, takes a little subtle flavor. It's just right there. It lets. It's not bam in your face. It just lets you know. That's why I said Werther's here. original. How a bam in your face is a Werther's oh, yeah. original? You have a big one. A really? <laughs> Do you have like a jawbreaker size yeah. of Werther's yeah. original yeah. flavor uh -huh. in your mouth? Uh -huh. We may have to come back to this station, yeah. but before we have any more, and Royer ends up on the floor over here, see I'm rhyming too, that's how good I am today, we want to take a little tour around Absolutely. the process, how you guys make it, yeah. let's get a little behind the scenes so, of, of the whole thing. So I see some barrels over here, I know that we got two different stills yep. over here. So this is a wonderful concoction of molasses, sugar, yeast, nutrients, and our aquifer water. We continue to monitor the specific gravity, the pH, and the temperature, because yeast is a very finicky thing. Yeah. And so if you don't keep all of those things within a specific range, it doesn't like to do its job. So uh, we just have to... It dies. Yeah, it dies. Really? Yeah. The yeast will die. It's a living organism when it's in there right now. So if it gets too cold, it'll die. If it gets too hot, it'll die. If it, uh, the pH gets too low, too high, it just, it's very sensitive. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the main so, truck herself, she's in here all the time monitoring that. Go so ahead. I babysit at these every day, look at them, know what's going on. And as you can see, they're all hard at work, which is what Yeah, I see do. they're all numbered. So I'm sure that you've got a database that you keep track of everything. Yep. So when it comes to the TTV, everything in here has to have a serial number. Okay. So of course, this is a simplistic serial number, F1, F2. Uh, we've got JR behind you, Bobby, we've got Pam. 
as you know, somewhere where we got, you know, we were able to get the equipment was a Dallas fan back in the day. So JR Bobby. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm a Falcon Crest fan back in the day. So Angela Channing is my yes, everything. So now we've got a barrel after Angela and Lance, and so that's the rhyme and reason. It doesn't have to be a boring serial number. No, it's it just has to have a name, so you can say that's what that happens there. Right. And you can see how you can see how the yeast is actually working. You can see it just. Yeah, I see that. Just, Jesse, are you getting that? Just kind of churn it around in there a little bit. Now so, this is this is actually a live look at what Royer looks like when he's working hard too. Is he kind of just sits there and churns? <laughs> it's, it's very similar. He's very relatable to this process. <laughs> well, thinking is very hard. Yes, very, very much. Very, especially for you. Yeah, I feel like it takes it, a little extra. Why I sit there in my chair and my churn. You don't have to be moving to make things happen. That's right. No. <laughs> that's why. And, and Royer goal. has perfected that process. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. So our goal is to be able to get the yeast to eat as much sugar as possible that is to convert cool. it to alcohol. Once that happens and I'm satisfied with where it's at or it basically dies off, it goes into the still behind you. Okay. Oh, so this JR, right? JR. Here. Okay. JR is considered a stripping still, so we double the still here. Okay. Okay. So this is our stripping still where we pull low lines off of JR. JR collects everything. So heads, tails, hearts, you got it. We well, put then, it in. So is this would this be considered uh, similar to a uh, pot still? A pot still. Yes. yes. Okay. Because so, there's no that is just a straight column. This one yep. right there to the condenser. Yep. Yep. Uh, so there's no nothing in between. Okay. And then you have a small little um, um, uh, pre-condenser up there that we don't hardly run any water through it basically. Just enough to keep it uh, at a reasonable temperature, the head temperature. So. Okay, so, you're, so your pot stilling is your first step in your run making process, yes. right? Yes, pot yeah. stilling we call it right. yep. Okay. Yep, and then we collect it in these milk cans above. Yeah. Uh, so oh, basically wow. we get one of those off of one of these. Wow. Nice. Wow. So that, that goes down quite a bit. Yeah, and all the other stuff is bad stuff. So explain yeah. the bad stuff. Well, this, yeah. is, this is the part we try to yeah. tell people yes. that, why craft rum is so good. Yes. Well, and it's fascinating because the more research we've done on rum is the remaining, you know, if you're if you're into Jamaican rum, they use something called dunder. Are you familiar yeah. with dunder? Yep. Yep. They basically have mud places out back where they put all of the leftovers and they skim that off and that affects their pH. So when they're making it, they use dunder in order to do that. Well, luckily, well, we've done it. Mm -hmm. We tested it. We tasted it. And it's really not what we were going for. Right. So, and everybody has different palates. Yep. Not yeah. the flavor you were searching for. No, I have a bartender that Carrie out there. Did you ever hear this, Carrie? Yes, Carrie. <laughs> I, know. I know you want the thunder, but for now you don't get it. So there you go. So uh, all of that is just basically the remnants of everything. So it comes. I mean, as you can see, it looks like molasses in there. It's very dark yep. brown, beautiful. When it comes off in there, it's a murky, murky clear liquid. Okay. So all okay. the darkness is left in the pot. Okay. okay. So we collect those. Then we're we, coming over here. Then we collect enough of them and it goes into Bobby. You got Bobby. Bobby is our column still, as you can see, reflux two, four, six times. Yeah. So when you see it's distilled six times, like certain vodkas out there right. that yep. got yep. noted for six times distilled, it was actually it went through a pane of glass six times. Okay. I know when I first started, I was like, so they're taking it from pot to pot. Next process they're to next. It. Six times. Right. No, they're not. And hence, <laughs> yeah. They make it sound so much harder. <laughs> they do. And hence, the TTV is onto that, and the TTV is changing the regulations. So this is no longer six times to still. Kind of false advertising. It is. Get rid of that. Yeah, because yeah, each, each glass is a plate underneath there. So yeah. yeah, so that's where your reflux comes from there. So, <laughs> so we collect this. This comes off the still of about 183 proof. Okay. Okay. Which is collected. And Gary is the master taster when it comes to cutting because we only want the hearts. Only want the hearts. So he's very good. Stuff. And we, and we, we talked about, talk about that, right? The hearts right. are the yes. good parts, the so parts right. that leave you without the headache and you get to enjoy yeah. that delicious yeah. run. Yeah. yeah, so basically, when I, I do the most efficient runs. So when I get that thing started about 4 30, 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, I get before this, his day job. Before my day job. Yep, so I can take off and do that. Uh, yeah, so we get the head temperature, you up in head temperature when you're column stilling uh, for your ethanol purposes, mm -hmm. you want to be around 173. Right, okay. Right. okay. So when I get my head temperature to 173, and I'm obviously collecting all kinds of nasty stuff called your uh, your four shots in your heads. Yep, Nobody yes. wants to drink that. It's not good for you. It'll make you sick. It'll just probably just kill you, right? Yeah. You yep. could, right? That's what, so basically, I, I get that when I get to 173, I still run it for a better. So you're making minutes. sure that all oh, of yeah. count, because by oh. then the, the head shots, they're, they're done, right? Yep. And then you've got your heads uh, yep. that four are after that, your four shots, and then your heads. Yep. And uh, so you run a little bit past, oh, I run way past and all of that, that. Yeah. and then, then you're, you're, you're know, good into the hearts. Yeah, then after I get to that here, I get to my uh, the desired time I want to be at, and I'll just take this here, open it up, and just make sure I just drain the whole pair. Yeah. So that way I have absolutely no 
fear that I have any bad, any, you know, any of the bad stuff. Don't want that. Don't want it. I don't want to have that reputation. So we clean it out clear, completely. Then we start collecting the heads. I mean, the, the hearts. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, start, start collecting the hearts. The hearts, yep. After that. So then that runs basically, I don't know, how many hours? Eight. Eight hours. We got it down. It used to be 16. Yeah, yeah. So this, so when, when we're talking about a small batch, this is what we're talking about right here. Right here. It this is, is it. Right. So, yep, you get three, we, you know, roughly take three of those cans of yep. um, uh, low lines, dump it in there, and add some water to it to get filled up a little bit more. We use our water only. Yeah. So we're not making, making sure there's no funky minerals that come from the well and things, but this sets all pure, clean water. Okay. Yep. So then we run that, we get the finishing runs there, so we just fill up these cans. So we get one can per three. Okay. You know, so. Mm -hmm. So at that point, is that ready to bottle then at that it point? It is not. It's, it's too not high proof. Too high proof. Wait, now we're at, so what, 170 something, right? You said 170? 183 is normal. 183, 183, 183 is normal. Yeah. I know that's where you're used to drinking it's your like proof of that. That's what it's like, you know, we're ready to rock and roll here. <laughs> so right. we, we go for quality here, not the glasses. quantity of alcohol. So All right, well, to each their own. <laughs> exactly. You know? So yeah. once we get there, we, get, you know, we collect all that stuff, but then we bring it over to our good friend, Angela. 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 She's made it. She's right. out here. <laughs> Angela, Pam, Lance. Lance helps us make the salted caramel. Okay. That's, that's our mixing. Um, that's his secret. She just hangs out with stores. That's stores. She helps us bottle. Right. But yeah, so then when it moves over here, then we add more RO water, reverse osmosis water. Okay. And then we cut the proof down to 80 proof. Very nice. So that's what we're bottling it at is 80 proof. Now, yeah. when it goes into the amber, generally between 120, 125, it's going into the barrel at that level. So you get more proof in the barrel, but when it comes out of the barrel, then it's cut and then it's bottled. And now do you want to go behind the scenes? Yeah. We want to go yeah. Do we want to go behind the scenes? Yeah. These are not real yeah. questions. Yeah, really. Come on. <laughs> Forklift. Why don't we get a forklift? Oh, check this we can pick out. stuff up. Yeah, baby, check this out. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, man. This, look at this logo. This now it looks so like cool. Royer's can cabinet can at home. Is that okay? Say oh, yeah. Can he touch it? Like, oh, oh, yeah. Yes, you can can touch you touch it? it? I don't know. Did man. you clean your hands? Is it going to get you? Oh, uh, God. This is so cool. Does this have real rum in it? It does. Yeah. That's, oh. the oh. That's the private side. Oh, look how exciting yeah. he is right now. This oh, is how we need is... to buy our rum. I don't know why we buy in bottles anymore. We need to buy well, by the barrel. We did bring the truck today. We did bring the we truck. Did. How much truck are these bad boys well, go Can you for? imagine the, the look on Diane's face? If Mom these is going home? to kill us, yeah. but that's okay because we don't feel a thing because of how much rum we have. <laughs> we get the forklift right there and fire it up. <laughs> <and> <laughs> throw a barrel on. Everything. Or 12. I got a charge card. <laughs> We're good to go. We can do this. Yeah, baby. We can do this. All right. This is awesome. You know, I... I I gotta tell you. He's lost for words. I, I am. I'm just I'm stumbling <laughs> around here because my mind is just going, ah! Is that a first? That's a, well, it's not the first he's ever been stumbling yeah, around, but <laughs> it is the first time he's done it non from, from a non-rum related <laughs> item. Oh, yeah, you know? it's just, but kind of rum was kind of weird. Rum, I guess, was involved though, so we actually don't know which is causing so, it. So I'm just gonna throw I mean so Don't throw things, we're we, not using that stuff. You won't be able to pick it up. <laughs> we, we we had you haven't seen him with enough rum in him. He's capable. <laughs> so we Superman. so we so we had the silver rum, you know, we did the review. We knew what we were getting into when we when we kinda came out here. I was hopeful. I was I was hoping, you know, man, I hope the amber is good. I hope the salted caramel's good. I hope they don't suck. You know, and <laughs> the I'm, fears, gonna, I'm the gonna tell fears you right you now. Have. I'm gonna tell you right now. They are amazing. Amazing. Seriously. With lots of hand motions. You know, two thumbs up. Oh, ab absolutely. <laughs> it's Royer approved. If you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't give it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> to see this being done in a small distillery, what yeah. you guys have been capable enough to do is truly remarkable. It, it, I think it really the is. fact that you get such a good quality product, you have this system so nicely done. It looks nice, neat. It's a very clean area. This is this is absolutely amazing. Quality sells, and you can taste the quality. I mean, it is just that good. It really is. And, uh, you know, we, we've... We have drinking some of the silver. I yes, mean, some more more than just one or two. We've drinking some two and bottles. Yeah, so <laughs> so so that's where it's been going. Yeah. So, <laughs> so so we know you know the the after effects as well. You can tell the next day. You know the you you, you know, wake up and, and you're not feeling you're, so draggy. You're, you're not, not you don't, you're don't not have hanging, a headache. Lingering, you don't yep. have all that type of stuff going on. It's a very nice, you know, very clean product. I think it's it amazing. I think it, this is and this is just so cool. I would never leave ever. If I, I don't even know what we're Dude, doing. You gotta with our love lives. your day job, but, right? This, I, don't you love your I day love job? I love my day job. Yeah, right? this, this is her day job. Yeah. This is amazing. This is yeah, truly this is incredible. Fantastic. I understand. Doreen just told me that they've got a brand new one. Brand new rum. A brand so new rum. There's a fourth out. one. She told me a secret. So, so if you're watching this, don't tell anybody. <laughs> tell everybody. What am I saying? Don't, don't tell anyone. But yeah. 
So she's got a brand new rum coming out. So what's this what, rum? What is this rum? This one is strawberry lemonade. Should be out by the 4th of July. Strawberry oh, oh, lemonade. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's really strawberry good. lemonade. It smells, it smells oh, like strawberry lemonade. Oh, 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 I think, I think that, 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 that. What do you think, Jesse? That's not my favorite one. <laughs> that's the new favorite. We have a new well, favorite. This is, this is it right here. There's the new one coming out. We're gonna try it because we know the rum reviewers for some reason today get to try after the camera crew. Yeah. So we're we're gonna try it. Out. Working. I don't know how we got on the back end of this. I, I don't know either. Because <laughs> he's doing all the work. Come on. He is doing all the work. Oh my goodness. Woo! This would be that so is good nice. in cocktails. Oh, you that's could gonna make be nice. some dangerous flavors with oh, this. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dangerous. Yeah. Yes. This yeah. is this would be a great good. cocktail mixer. You could do so much stuff with this, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. What's nice is it keeps. Such a natural flavor that you it don't does. get any of that added sugary grossness. That no, you get. This, this is not a sugary rum. What's, the, what's no. the proof on that one? They're all going to be 80. They're, They're all 80, 80 proof. 80 proof. 80 proof. Yeah. That's, That's nice. That's amazing. That's nice. That is amazing. This would be great if you think vodka is the best kind of drink. Yeah. No, we'll challenge vodka. you to try this rum and tell us if you think vodka is still better. Yeah. Because vodka, I think this, no. this could rival anything and any, it's absolutely delicious. Any, yeah. This is really, really good. So take that, vodka. Yeah. You're Smear it you heard it here first. Yeah. And if you don't like it, Royer said it. Modern Matriarch is coming after Smirnoff. <laughs> coming right. after you, Smirnoff. I think Smirnoff's going to be coming after us. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. This I think we could do some summertime, videos with, oh, yeah. summertime yeah. videos with this. Maybe oh, yeah. break the lawnmower back out. What? Yeah. Maybe make the lawnmower return with the palm tree. Really? Maybe we have to do a couple spins around the yard just yeah. to see how it feels. The neighbors love that so much the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. We did. We came and checked out Matriarch Distillery. We tried all of the rum at least twice. And there, it was amazing. There are puppies running around at our feet. <laughs> and it won't even stop us. He just had too much. There's actually no puppies here. <laughs> he, I don't know what he's seeing. <laughs> but we did it. We, we got to get him team. on. We're going to do this. We're, we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to sign off here with this last one. Yep. Uh, make sure you guys check out our reviews on Modern Matriarch. We're going to have more coming out. There is going to be a lot more. More coming. coming if you guys like this, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's face channel. it. Why would you not like this? Yeah. This is freaking awesome. Iowa rum done right, which is so exciting to see. And so we're really thankful for you guys hanging out with us, checking out Matriarch Distillery. Uh, we want to make sure you guys uh, always get to see the coolest stuff we have going on in Iowa, which is very little, but Matriarch this is, is breaking cool. up for it. This could not for. disappoint at all. Very cool. So uh, with that, Royer, let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly. Always. Never drink and drive. Never. And no rums were harmed during the making of this video. Not right at here. all. I'm such a great hype guy. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> Take care.